Hi everyone, and welcome to the overview of iSwimTimes, a new iPhone app for keeping track of swim times, meets, standards, and goals. After downloading iSwimTimes from iTunes, tap the icon to launch the app. After iSwimTimes loads, you will be in the swimmer view. Notice that there are two example swimmers. iSwimTimes is divided into five sections. The swimmer view, the meets view, live meet, standards view, and settings. Back to the swimmer view. This view lists the swimmers entered into I swim times. You can add and remove swimmers by tapping the add remove button. Let's add a swimmer. Tap the plus button. We'll enter Jane Smith. Tap the birthday row, and we'll set her birthday to be June 25th, 1999. The standard that we'll use for her times will be the example girls 10 and under standard. Let's choose an image from the library. And last, enter her email. All looks good. You can tap Save. One note here is that you can, in the Add Remove mode, you can reorder the swimmers by tapping this Reorder button. Tap and hold, and we'll put Jane Smith at the top. Tap Done. We can also set Jane Smith as the default swimmer by tapping the Options button. The de default swimmer allows Jane to be the auto-entered swimmer when you enter a, an event in the meets mode. We can also tap the uh, options button and edit her details. Everything looks good here. If you tap the swimmer's row, a number of tools and reports show up for Jane Smith. Let's start by entering her starting personal best times. If you notice, there are no starting best personal best times. These times are used for setting seat times and for initially doing personal best comparison times as well as goal tracking times. Tap the plus button and we'll select the 50 free and 100 free. Tap Save. Notice the events are here without times. Let's enter the time for the 50 free as 32.52. The 100 free as 108.23. Notice the times are displayed. Tap the back button. Now we'll explore how these times are displayed in three of the iSwim Times reports. Tap personal best. Notice there's the event. S this starting means that it is a starting personal best time. The green text, the standard cut made by her times. And, of course, these are the times. If you tap Next, this will show you the next standard cut and the time needed to achieve it. If you tap Drop, this will show you the drop needed to attain that standard cut. You can also tap the Action button to email or export this report. Tap Back. Let's tap Compare Times. And let's choose Nicole Lee. This is a side-by-side -side comparison of Jane Smith and Nicole Lee. Notice Jane Smith is slower by 1.48 seconds in the 50 free, but faster in 1.68 in the 100 free. Tap back. 
probably the most powerful tool in iSwim Times is the Analyze Times versus Time Standard. If we tap this button and select RSFT Standard Cut Time, you'll notice it looks like the starting personal best times. If you tap RSFT, you'll notice the standard cuts are set to RSFT with this RSFT time displayed. Tap drop. This will show Jane that she needs 2.58 seconds and 1.86 seconds to drop for the 150 free and 100 free respectively. This is a great tool for dis for analyzing what needs to be dropped in order to achieve multiple times. For example, in a meet invite. If you tap back and back again, we're all done with swimmers. Now off to our first meet.